David, come on, open your eyes. David, please. Oh my God, you idiot. Why did you have to come in here? God, help me. I think I killed him. Damn it. What is it? What's wrong? He's alive. Jake, don't joke like that. That was a hell of a nice hello you gave him there. What happened? He came in, he saw Kindle, I hit him. Mm. Excellent instincts, I would have done the same thing. Although it's going to take some explaining and some finesse to, you know, explain that to everybody, so. Did, did he see him? No. Good. Hey, Davey boy, how you doing? Can you oh, hear us? Oh. What? Can you hear us? Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, my God. Oh, we were worried about you there. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, well, I like you better when you're out cold, personally, but... Wait a minute. I saw Kendall. She was here. Where did she go? Oh, my head. And who hit me? Was it Aiden? You were on the ground when I got here, and I thought you were dead, so I called Jake, and I knew he'd be able to help. I was going to take you out back, put you out of your misery, but... I was hit with that. Yeah, uh, probably by Aiden. See, look, some blood here. And I know he was shot, injured, so that's a little proof that he was here. I also saw a, a car tear past me when I was on my way here, and I'm sure that Kendall and Aiden were in that car. At least I think so. How long was I out? Not long. Good. We can still cash them if we try. Chief, I've got a Dr. Hayward on the line. He says it's urgent. Uh, put him through. Dr. Hayward. I just saw Kendall and Aiden. Well, I, I saw Kendall. If you send some cruisers right away, you might catch them. But you have to hurry. I'm on it. Thanks for the tip. Let me look at your head. Let me just check out. Just stay the away from me. What if you have a concussion? I don't want to be held responsible. Let me take a look. Go away, all right? Amanda and I can take care of this. Idiot. Hey, it's okay. We, we can take care of it. They're uh, thinking that maybe his personality changed because he got hit in the head. Think again. Maybe I'll see you in the... Hey, I'm gonna go check on the baby. He's asleep. So why don't you stay here and tell me what really happened in the stables? How long... Did you know that Kendall and Aiden were hiding out on our property? David, I think you're bleeding. Who hit me? Aiden? Was it Jake? You have to admit it was pretty convenient that he just happened to show up right when I came to. Jake was wrong. That hit on the head did change your personality. You're more paranoid than ever. And you need an ambulance. You're avoiding. You're delusional and hurt. I am trying to help you, and all you can do is accuse people and whip up conspiracy theories. I gotta get something for this pain. Oh my gosh. Oh man. My bandages are gone. And the antiseptic? Yep, and even some of my painkillers. Everything one would need to treat a gunshot wound. We stocked these the other day. And I know I didn't treat any gunshot wounds. How about you? Amanda, come on. The gig is up, all right? So why don't you just tell me? It was Jake, wasn't it? You, you called him in to help Aiden. I walked in. And there's nothing better he'd like more than to take a swing at me. 
especially from behind. It's a total sucker punch. Pure Martin move. I did it, all right. I hit you. All right, look, don't try to protect him. Aiden and Kendall were in the stables, and they needed help. And I, I knew I couldn't come to you because you would see them as fugitives. I saw them as friends. Kendall is taking this huge risk to be with her family again someday, and I wanted to help them. You didn't have to lie to me. <laughs> you make people lie to you. You make people go behind your back. You're such a control freak. You are always sure that the world is against you, looking for the insults so you, you can hit back harder, show that you are the biggest, the baddest. You bet I lied. And if you weren't such an asshat, then maybe people would stop lying to you and start liking you. You okay? Yeah, yeah. So you saw Kendall. When did you see her? Where did you see her? What did she say? And where did she go with Aiden? All right, look, I'm sorry. I guess I brought you here for nothing. Excuse me? I thought I saw Kendall, but I didn't. So now you didn't see Kendall? No. No, I, I was in the stables, and I tripped and fell. Landed on the back side of your head there, did you? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. And I had just been reading about Kendall's escape in the newspaper, and so I guess when I fell, I must have briefly blacked out, and um, my mind was playing tricks on me. I thought I saw Kendall, but I was wrong. Better now? Yeah, yeah, much. Thank you. So, no statement? Nope, no statement. I'm sorry to have wasted your time, but, um, you know, good luck catching. Maybe you should get your head checked. Yeah, maybe I will. Oh. oh. Sorry. It's amazing how much damage I can do with one little swing of a shovel. <laughs> well, I guess it's in the wrist, huh? So, when are you going to tell me why you didn't give up Kendall to the cops? Well, I think it's obvious, isn't it? You convinced me. Ow! What was that for? Is that the truth? Yes! Really? So... I mean, you just did that because it was the right thing to do or because you're trying to trick me into thinking that what I say around here actually matters, which is it. Well, okay, what, 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 does it really matter what my motives were? Yes. Cool. Well, did it work? Maybe. Great. Uh, no, no, okay, it's clean enough. Thank you. Well, whatever your reasons are, thank you for not giving Kendall up. Even if it was just to get on my good side. Would that be so bad? Maybe not. You're good at this, you know. Maybe a little heavy-handed on the antiseptic, but you're good. <laughs> well, I did almost kill you, so it is the least I could do. <laughs> Are you all finished? Yeah. All right. You should rest. That's kind of hard to do with a locomotive running through my head. Ah, uh, here. This will help. What are you trying to do? Knock me out so you can... What? Watch one of your telenovelas? No, take advantage of you, Dave. Would you just take it? It's certainly getting interesting around here. Mm -hmm.